it's been a while. I'm sorry, I went to Miami, I had an amazing time. I think that was my first like real vacation break in a very long time. Um, but I am back and I am so excited to start doing some mods to the Corvette that I've actually been waiting to do for a long time. We're gonna get straight into that, but first, I need to change your life. I will give Adam the credit here. There's a new cold brew drink at Duncan. And like, I've always liked Duncan, but they just put themselves in like the ultimate superior coffee choice with this new drink I'm about to get. So I'm gonna get it, show you guys, and then we'll head to the shop. <laughs> I don't curve my wheels first. I'm way too excited. I'll admit like I am ashamed with how excited I am for this drink. But if you guys try it, you will understand. This is this drink that I'm obsessing over. I've always liked Duncan because they've had oat milk like way before anyone else did. And I like the coffee, but now they have this new like Charlie cold foam cold brew. It's so good, you guys. I just had to tell you guys about that, but I'm headed to the warehouse and we're gonna be finally converting the Corvette to five by 114. You guys notice anything different? Anything? Maybe like the fact that the vet now has my 350Z wheels on it, which means the vet is now and finally five by 114. Welcome to the Start of Collect video. Um, so I was, I was thinking of a good analogy to describe what we're doing here. Do you know the, the game The Floor is Lava? Yes. So it's kind of like the, the Floor is Lava in two ways. So one way, I'm getting annihilated by ants right now because this is like a very ant infested ground. So that's fun. But two, when we drive the car, you can't touch the brakes. If you touch the brakes, you're going to have a bad time. Do you want to explain to them why? because we must roll the car with the calipers tucked away, zipped away somewhere. We don't want to go through putting them on here with the ant infested waters and then have to then take them off again. Yeah, I guess have it, conversion it really time. not hard to put them on. I mean, at least one of them. Well, we probably could have put the, the hydro one on or something, or I don't know. We're just assigned to not put any of them on so we can get the car in the shop to do the 5x114 hub conversion. That's exciting. It is exciting. I, I think a lot of people do it. You kind of like balled out on this. I did, but only because yeah, I tried I to- to buy new wheels. So no. $4,000. No, because hub. I tried to do it the cheaper way with spacers and then the spacers showed up and they weren't actually conversion spacers. So I was like, well, I'll just do it the right way now. It was a sign. Well, this is cool because like you'll be able to put that much wider of a wheel. So down the road, yeah. even if you're wide body, like you'll have like an extra 20 mil of lip because you did it this way. Yeah. Which we were going to try to do without rotors, but it was extra sketchy because there was nothing to keep the back of the wheel flat. You're going to be my brake. Right? I'm gonna drive really slow, but you're gonna always at all times be in front of the car. And if I scream, you just have to just make this the car stop going forward. Can I, can I ask a favor? Yes. Can I drive it? No! I'm so excited. But to you want it. you want me to be the no, brake. No, the brake is called turning. It's your welded diff will be the brake. Facts. That's what I was gonna do. Okay. I, I would really like to accept the challenge. Oh, I'm sure you do in a car that's not yours. And should you end up going into a curve or something, it's my car. To be fair, I just don't want to bring the jack back. Wow. <laughs> The brakes are lava. I up. You already touched the brakes? Are you filming? Yes! Literally my instinct is when I went to start the car, my foot was on the brakes and I grabbed the f***ing hydro. You can't touch the brakes. You can't touch the brakes. But you haven't even started the game! No! It'll be okay, it's just gonna be annoying because you need to decompress the calipers and I don't know how these ones are, but I just made her life a lot harder. I'm sorry. You were so excited to be the driver. I'm like I want chicken tikka masala. Can we get Indian? Yes. Please? Sure. Yep. Don't touch the brake. Bye. <laughs> Look, there's just a car right there. He's just chilling. Little does that car know that Adam has no brakes. Oh my gosh. He's going for your car, buddy. That's, that's your, fair. Your car is about to be the brake. He's intimidated. Compete next weekend, so he's trying to take me out early. Oh, oh. 
Just gonna use my car like that. Colette, it's a sign. What does that look like? A rotor. That's the only reason why this LS car is acceptable. Did you tell me your axle's sparking again? It's always sparked. We never figured out the problem and we just accepted it and I decided to ignore it. You ready? Yes. Look at my back. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Can you? <sighs> it fits. Yay. But you have to be careful because yeah, I don't have the... Pub centric rings? Yeah. Yeah, so they machined them down for you to make sure that you could accept all different wheels, but now you have to get the, like, appropriate hub centric rings, so it's extra important when you put the lug nuts on, you, like, work them a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit to make sure it's centered. The car already looks so much yeah, better. It really does. Just having <laughs> neon <laughs> wheels on the rear. <laughs> Ten times better. Damn. Ready? Yep. Right for the Jimmy O drop? Yep. <gasps> <laughs> God! Dang. Wow. It does look 30 times better. Yes, the wheels change everything. Definitely have to spray the front one top pink now. Wow. Dang. Oh my God. Dang, it's a Corvette now. It flows with the livery real well now. Oh, yes. Love it. This is a huge deal, and you guys know that I've been trying to get this car converted for a while now. It's been a struggle finding wheels to fit the Corvette and it's the only car that I have that is 5 by 120 and you guys remember I got the spacers for the car that were supposed to be conversion spacers. However, I got the spacers and they were just regular 5 by 114 spacers. So that didn't work but I'm glad that it didn't because it forced me to do it the right way and convert the car by actually machining out the hubs and making the hubs themselves 5x114 versus just doing it with spacers. I hit up Duarte at Drift HQ and they were able to convert these stock hubs and rotors to 5x114. So I sent the guys at Drift HQ all new hubs all around and they took them, they machined them for 5x114 and I got these fancy new ARP studs pressed in as well. Now these are the front. I'm going to wait to install these until I either have better wheels for the front or until I have the wide body on. They also ended up machining the rotors as well. So I have my new rotors for the rear and I bought new ones for the front too that I'll end up putting on once we get these on. This is the proper way to do it, but obviously is a lot more time intensive and you need to have a lot more resources like having a machine shop and someone you actually trust to do all that work for you. But it is the safer way to go. And I was just trying to have a fast solution with the spacers, but luckily the spacers didn't work out and it pushed me to do it this way. And this is a lot safer too, since I'm gonna be using this car for comps and driving it really hard. So big shout out and thank you to Drift HQ for helping me 
get everything machined and done. And now I'll finally be able to start running some cool wheels on this car. Heritage Wheels actually has some really awesome monoblocks, new ones coming up very soon. And that's been the plan all along to run on this car. And one of the big reasons why I've been trying to get it converted to five by 114. Also, I just don't wanna have to have a whole separate set of wheels just for the Corvette that don't fit any other car. So I'm really excited I went this route and I seriously think already just with adding a colored wheel in the bath that I actually liked, it makes the car look 10 times better. that I have this car set for unlimited drift spares. I gotta let you guys know that I'm gonna be doing an event soon. I'm going to the Spring Break Bash. So I wanna get the car looking better, okay? The livery on this side definitely helped, but I only did this side. I didn't finish the other side yet. So I'm into the car a twitch wash, finished the livery on the other side, and maybe I'll end up painting the wheels you know, these are just temporary. Just paint them hot pink, maybe. I'm at least going to finish putting that livery, maybe add to it as well on the other side. Maybe try and cover that up too. I don't know, but I at least one of you are looking good for Spring Break Bash. What's cool about the Spring Break Bash is that was my first ever event last year in this car. If you notice the banner that I just kept on here, this is officially from a year ago. So I can't wait to be back there with a different car. And I don't know, maybe I'll bring the Z as well just because it'll be a good sentimental moment for a full year of drifting for me. For now, let's focus on the vet and get the other side with my temporary livery. America. try and get all of this out. Not sure if I can, but this is the side that I have to add delivery on. So I'd at least like this to be clean. So we'll see. Shulman gave me some stuff he thinks might remove all the tire stain. We'll see if it works. any of that was gonna come off. That's amazing. Yes, I was super bummed because the side that was the most dirty with tire all over it was the side I put the livery on and all of the tire came out. That was amazing. Okay, car is clean now. So I'm gonna take all the shapes and elements just like I did last time. For the most part, try and copy it. And then I'll probably end up adding more on this side. So we'll just, we'll just see how it goes and how I feel. remember there was a Batman shape looking paint chip on the front of the car and I just yellowed it and threw two stripes 
doesn't look that bad. I was expecting it to look a lot worse as this is just a random area. And if you look closely, you can still see like the big paint chip in it, but on track and in photos, it's gonna look a lot better. So that's why I threw those stripes right there. And then Adam was saying I should have added some elements to the front wheels. I didn't think it would look good, but I do think it pulls it all together. So added all of this on this side and then I added some of the elements coming off of the front wheels on this side as well. And hearts on the taillights, just because I could. <laughs> and I think this is it. I keep walking past the car and every time I walk past it, I add like one more element on the side here, but I think I'm gonna call it right now. The light is about to be gone, but I am liking this. Again, this is a temporary livery, but it makes me feel better about driving the car on track. And I think it actually looks really good and it's been growing on me. So I think this is it. All right, that is it for this video. I am so happy to have my hubs officially converted to five by 114. Again, thank you to Drift HQ for helping me with that. I will have basically unlimited drift spares now between all of my cars and we will be putting the front conversion hubs on very soon. I wanna do that on the lift, even if I end up doing it before I get my wide body kit, as I will have to trim the stock front fenders when I put them on because my wheels that I have have for 5x114 right now are too wide. Lots of progress being made on the Corvette. I have a lot more mods coming up. Also some House of Pre updates by popular demand. I will be bringing back this OG House of Pre Volt hoodie. This is from the Midnight Club House of Pre collection. That was my first drop ever and I keep getting DMs from all of you guys wanting to be able to get this one again. So I've never brought a design back. I will be bringing this one back and after it's back and gone we will never reprint this drop again. Both the House of Pre and the Summer collection that is currently on the website will not be getting restocked. This is by popular demand and I agree I love this design so much so I will keep you guys posted and I will see you guys in the next one.